So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do face masks. <laughs> um, I actually try to do like face mask Sunday where I take like a little bit of like, extra long shower, do extra stuff, have a little treat, do a face mask, what do you mean by have hang a little out, treat? have a drink. Oh, is that your treat? Chill out, that's the treat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not like I have chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like, wow. I'm like, where have I been for all of this? I want a treat too. <laughs> I know, and I normally do it by myself, but today Neil is going to do a face mask with me. It's and called a facial mask. Facial mask. Mm -hmm. um, so I do different kinds of masks mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to put a little link in the description box uh, for this little set you can buy from Amazon, and it's a multi pack, so you can get different kinds. Um, I have a couple of favorites, of course, because I figure what works out for me. Um, so I'm going to use one of my favorites today, and um, there's ones I haven't tried. Like I'm really interested in the honey and the collagen ones, but um, we should probably say the brand's name. I'm really interested in the in the bourbon and beer one. They don't have and, that, that's not a real uh, thing. The barbecued pork one, <laughs> so what I'm going for. So the brand is actually, um, how do you say it, Salavi or maybe Say I think La Vie? I think you're right, when you said it was Say La Vie, yeah. that's it. But and, it's it's C-E-L-A-V-I. Right, and um, you know how, how hot, uh, Korean skincare is right now, and it's a Korean. No, Annalise, I don't. Can you tell me about this? I have no idea how hot. <laughs> so Korean, Korean skincare, skincare is, is super hot right now. So um, it is a Korean skincare brand, and they do other stuff as well. But I've never tried anything besides their face masks. And I was just gonna say they're fairly affordable. Like the Amazon oh, yeah. pack is it, it's a little less than a dollar a mask. Right. For this package, but they had some other ones that were about eighty cents a mask. Right, and it's it, that is a great same, deal. Same brand. A same great company. deal for a face mask. So oh, amazing. Yeah. Like, when we but, go shopping for face masks, we're like, what? A dollar a mask? <laughs> Neil is going to do the tea tree mask, and I'm going to do the vitamin C mask, and yours says, what does that say? Mine says tea tree, calm and refresh. Refreshes tired skin, age, <laughs> and reduces signs of strain and fatigue. Strain? Fatigue? <laughs> uh, tones and energizes while providing a tightening effect. I'm going to put this on my butt. <laughs> Wow. Uh, for a plumped, oh geez, I don't know if I need any more plumping up in this. Plumped and supple complexion provides deep moisture and brightening properties. Yes. I'm gonna be so much smarter after this. <laughs> Annalise is gonna go with the C'est La Vie Facial Mask, Mascara Facial de Barreau, Vitamin C, <laughs> Vitalize and Relieve. Vitalize. And Relieve. The Vitamin C derivative to the formula provides a radiant complexion and helps to reduce melanin pigment production. Do you want to talk about that? Speaking of which, oh yeah, I guess I could have mentioned that at the beginning, but um, as some of you may see or know, what? Why well, still, still look so surprised? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have some hyperpigmentation. So I've been doing some um, natural things to uh, try to help that, and I think, uh, stop. Um, <laughs> so I think these things help, and I actually think the vitamin C one does help, and vitamin C is something that's recommended for hyperpigmentation and skincare, anti-aging, all of that, so it's all good stuff. Maybe later in like another video, maybe I'll do like my DIY face oil and talk a little bit more about my face stuff. Let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. I'm interested in that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no? All right, let's get these on our faces. Let's do it. Let's do it, right. to it. Do you want me to help you do yours? Yes, because okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I have a couple pro tips. We might need these scissors, which I brought over for that. Sometimes, depending on the face mask um, Ooh, it's like a giant and your face, moisty wipe. it is. It's very, very wet and saturated with the skincare properties. Skincare properties. Skincare properties. Is that going to fit on my giant head? Oh, it is huge. Oh, it'll okay. totally fit on your head because it's way too big for my head, hence the scissors. So, the interesting thing, it has like this little nose flap. Oh my God, that, that looks fold. so gross. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So, can you put your nose in there? <laughs> oh God. Oh, it's cold and wet. Okay. Oh, hold this on. is nasty. Hold on, hold on. Just relax it out. Oh, it, this is not. Nope, just, just relax, just mm. relax. Oh, it feels so wrong. That is so funny, because mm. on my face, it's like super small. <laughs> I'm big, and on your face, it's super small. So you, you push it saying in. Your face is super big. That's a, is that what I said? You said it's super small. Oh. <laughs> and this is the kind of face mask that you don't um, wash off like. or rinse off, and then you can kind of like smooth it into the rest <laughs> of your face. So how does it look? 
I can't see it. it got in my eyes. It's burning <gasps> a little bit. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you should help. Just so you know, the tea tree burns a bit if you get it in your eyes. I must and it's supposed ridiculous. to be on for like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I brought you a straw because I don't know how you're going to drink that. Oh. Without... <laughs> Pro you. tip, straw. <laughs> I feel like a mummy. It is pretty much mummy, so. Well, put your, yours on your beak. Okay. My eyes are watering. No, you won't, you won't ruin it. You won't ruin it. You look funny. Look at like the dog thinks you're funny. Hi, Nine. <laughs> the first time I put this on, the first time I tried this, the dogs barked at me. So again, um, so there's a little flap for your nose and that's not on the side, so I'm gonna turn it around. This is gonna be too big for my face and too small for your face. You know what's funny is today was uh, Manscaped day for me, so I shaved my face and I shaved all my, my boobs. Oh, so my face is sensitive. So it's burning right face. now. Oh. This is so much fun. You should all do it after you've shaved. No, oh no. Do you want to take it off? No. We're going through. How Speaking long do we have to have which, this on? Oh, at least 15 minutes. I have some things to talk to Annalise about. I am going to grab the extra on gel your boobs. in my. Put it on your boobs. In my I just keep staring at the neck. camera and that's got to be creepy. Okay. Boobs. You got boobs. So here's the funny part. Or it's not the so funny part. Oh, that feels weird. Too. <laughs> um, okay. I. This is too big for my face, so and you're not supposed to get it in your eyes, around your eyes too much. <laughs> Don't. Um, so sometimes I cut the little. Uh, not when thing you're wearing here. it. Do yeah. you not cut it while you're. Do you cut well, it while you're wearing it? Yeah, but I do it in the mirror. Oh my god. Um, this is why I don't sleep at night. So, okay, so mine is on, and I know that they make little clips and like ear, <laughs> ear things to like hold on the face masks, but we haven't graduated to that level yet. Hey, that's a neat koozie you have on your cup. <laughs> Shameless self-promotion. That's for podcast. <laughs> okay, All right. So how do I look? You look great. You look. Do so I cute. have anything that's not? Because you can kind of see where it's lifting or whatever. So help me out. All right. And again with the down the neck and chest with the vitamin C. I think you're good. Yeah. So here's something fun. We're gonna talk about while this is on because we thought it'd be fun to pass the time. So let's look at the time. Annalise introduced me when we went to the Hallmark, Chris, uh, Hallmark Channel Christmas movies, and we're both now addicted. They released the schedule for the new Hallmark Christmas movies. So I thought it would be fun to go over them real quick. Uh, we're not gonna go over all of them, but some of them, and I was gonna tell Annalise the titles, and then she was gonna give us of what she thinks the movies will be about. Mm -hmm. I bet they're gonna be about Christmas. <laughs> you would think that, but not always. The first one, <laughs> And if you don't watch Hallmark Countdown to Christmas or Hallmark Christmas movies, you're kind of missing out on part of life. And I, <laughs> I feel a little bad for you. The first one comes out on October 28th, people. That's not anywhere near Christmas. It's called Marry Me at Christmas. What do you think that's going to be about? Um, I think I'm just going on a limb here. I'm going to go full limb and say they're getting married <laughs> full at <limb>. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Full limb. We're going full. We're not going partial twig. <laughs> Man, we're not none someone's of that partial Someone's married twig. at Christmas. So you think someone's gonna get married at Christmas? Yeah. Will they be asked at Christmas or the wedding be on Christmas? That is a good one. Is it just a proposal or I a full know. wedding? Um, you know what? We're gonna go big. It's gonna be we're getting married at Christmas. That's not what it's called though. Next one, <laughs> Christmas festival of ice. It's gonna be an ice skating extravaganza. Not a nice carving. Oh. All right. Oh, see. Christmas in the air. Hot ballooning. How about radio station? They could be radio DJs falling off, falling off, falling in love. And who wants to do a hot balloon during Christmas? It's probably freezing up there. The sweetest Christmas. Question it's all about that. cookies. Sweetest Christmas. Okay, I, I'll go with that. I, she owns a uh, cookie shop. How about Miss Christmas? M I S S. Yep. Hmm. Is she Santa's daughter or is she just obsessed with Christmas? Ooh, that's a good one. I was thinking like it was a pageant and she won Miss Christmas. Oh. That is probably exactly what it is. I told you that uh, we don't have kids and uh, I can't have kids uh, because of the, the laws now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a physiological thing. I mean, I have a penis. It's not that. But if I ever had a daughter, I wanted to name her Christmas. C-H-R-I-S-M-I-S-S. -S -S. Good thing I didn't have a kid because she'd hate me for mm. naming her that. Coming home for Christmas. Another another limb? Yeah. Someone comes home for Christmas. But, or is, does the dog I'm gonna come home go for Christmas? I'm going to go with... Military. Ooh, all right. Okay. How about Enchanted Christmas? <gasps> oh, that's magic. Mm -hmm. Can you have witches in Christmas? Yeah. In the same. Because the Good Witch had a Christmas one. Oh, that's right. I know all this. Also, stuff. the Good Witch. Uh, Secretly Santa. 
Do you um, think that Dean guy is going to be in that one? I think so. Dean Kane? Yeah. Oh. Uh, AKA Superman. So I think that it's going to be about secret Santas and not so much someone being secretly Santa, which would probably be more interesting. I will say it will be about a secret Santa, like somebody who's secretly Santa. Oh, okay. That's my thought. Uh, the Mistletoe Inn. You know what's hilarious is when as soon as you said that, I was like, everybody's getting pregnant at the inn. <laughs> no, what? No. I think it's just uh, maybe an inappropriate kiss. Are you finding Santa? Is Santa missing? I guess so. Uh, the Christmas Train. Oh, this is a porn. Wow. <laughs> is that going to be like a ripoff of Porn We should Express? do this on the podcast, too. <laughs> I'm thinking something. People fall in love. On a train? Siberian Railroad. Switched for Christmas. It's the takeoff on the whole twins switch movie scenario, right? I don't know. I was thinking it was that or like two peoples with the same name. Their flights get confused and they go on blind dates to meet somebody on Christmas mm. and they fall in love with the wrong person. Remember that one we saw where the girl uh, met someone's family and it was actually the wrong family picture? Yeah. Up? Christmas in Evergreen. We're actually in December though. Um... Mm. It's going to be about Christmas. Christmas in Evergreen in is the first December Christmas movie. Just so you know. That's interesting. Yeah. Christmas in the Rockies, which is probably actually another Christmas movie. I think the Evergreen's a hotel. Oh. Bed and breakfast. Nice. Uh, Christmas at Holly Lodge. That's a bed and breakfast. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. The Christmas shop. Now, is this a shop that's open during Christmas? Is it like Santa's shop? Do they sell Christmas goods? What is this? You know, sometimes these movies don't always take place at Christmas. Sometimes Christmas is like a byproduct or just a, a side note to the actual movie. So I wonder if this one is actually about like people who work at a shop that's because they have those Christmas stores that are open all year round. Like the one in uh, Virginia City, right. of which we'll be seeing and you'll see too. Um, or is it actually a, people who work at like a Christmas store that's only open on Christmas? Uh, I don't know. Christmas Encore. Do you want more? Um, uh, they're like, oh, is it going to be like Groundhog Day? It's going to be Christmas Groundhog Day. You get Christmas oh, over and over and I over thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a, uh, Christmas repeat. I thought it was going to be a, <laughs> where they put on a, like a Christmas pageant, pageant? or mm. show. That's a very common theme as well. Yeah. Christmas shuttle. That's weird. So we fall in love on the bus shuttle from the airport to the lodge. <laughs> I just started thinking Christmas in space. That would be awesome. <laughs> Father Christmas. I'm going to go on another limb and say it's about Santa. This is my favorite one that's mm. coming up right now. The name of the show is Baby It's Cold Outside. Creepiest song Which ever. Which is a super creepy rapey song. <laughs> and now it's a show. Mm. So I wonder if they're going to do... Stuck. And that one's on the 23rd, which means we'll have to watch that in Virginia City. So that one is definitely going to be they like get uh, stuck in a lodge together and you can't leave. I, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a movie about the song. I think it's going to play just like the song. Hmm. You know, like oh, I should go. Well, and that's like, going to no. be a little creepy and rapey then. It's totally but Christmas Day when calls the heart. That doesn't make sense, is it? When calls the heart. That's really shouldn't it be title. when the heart calls. When calls the heart, the Christmas wishing tree. That is a really weird title. That's not worded right. It's a murder. And then, of course, the last one... That one's one, a drama. Of course, the last one on the 30th is New Year's Gala. Oh. I'm going to assume it's a party. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> going to kiss somebody they're not supposed to. <gasps> Always. <laughs> these have been on for about 15 minutes. If these right? ones you aren't the rinse-off kind, these usually are Usually, we'd leave you... them. You'd leave it on a little longer anyway. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what I'm doing. Like, I usually do put this on and then, like, sit down and watch some TV. Ready? Oh, is that where I'm going to put it? Yeah. Okay. So, I just pull it off? Uh-huh. Let me see. Oh, God. You look... Younger? You look moisturized. I feel moisturized. Good. I'm oh, sorry about the burning. Greasy. So what do well, I, I just rub it in? No, it'll just absorb in. Yeah, just rub it in, it'll absorb in. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right. I want, see, the, what's really funny is I don't know what I look like with this thing on. You'll find out. So for me, since I actually enjoy it and I want all the product out of it, oh. I actually kind of wipe it around. Boom. You can put it on some other music. Okay. Okay. Again, with the vitamin C, it's supposed to be like anti aging you want a mask? and hyperpigmentation. And so I assume I look a little pink and a little. Oh, yes, you do. Healthy. Do I look pink? What color Just do I a look? little bit. Yeah, I like them and I feel like they help out and I feel 
better and pampered. Pampered Sunday is what we like to call it. I like, feel like I wear pampers too. <laughs> How did they go for you? I enjoyed it. I, wanna, I would do it again. I'm actually excited that we, um, we have the, uh, multi the multi pack. Bonus pack will be in the description box, but um, this is my favorite one. And But I want to try the others because you never know. Maybe I'll like one better. I don't know. Right. Let okay. us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the video. No, this video is a little long. But we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think about the Christmas movies. Watch Christmas movies with us. <laughs> Are you guys going to watch Christmas movies? Uh, and if you want to get in touch with us, obviously you can comment below. You can also go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com and there is a way to contact us through the website. That's actually, uh, we have the Halos and Heathens stuff up there too, but it's actually our uh, podcast website. But an easy contact link if you'd like. We very much appreciate all the support that you've been giving us in our short tenure of vlogging. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us on this fine face mask day. And here's to you. <laughs> Do anything. <laughs> Babe. And <laughs> what was that? I had like some extra. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you got caught on somebody's hook. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>